Hey guys, how's it going? So, today we're back with this beautiful 9.9. You've seen I got the carburetor all cleaned out and it ran again. It wasn't pumping any water. Now, I did put an impeller in it a couple years ago. I figured, okay, impeller's done. So, change the impeller. Still not pumping water. So then I moved on to, you know, where the water comes through here at the head and found I can't get any air through here. And you know, it's stupid 90 on here, so you can't clean it out. Now you can't take off the valve cover here and drill holes here and clear it out, but I think it's gonna be deeper than that. I think we're going in to take the head off. So how I started was removing the carburetor. It's easiest way to do this. You know what? Let's switch the camera around. Easiest way to do ooh, to do this is uh, just undo these two nuts here and take your fuel line off from back here at the pump. This pump. Take that off there. Instead of trying to mess with the carburetor and everything down there, it comes out easier. If you take it off on this end and take it out as one piece, like so. Right? Much easier. Get yourself a bolt tray. Keep all your stuff organized. We're gonna move into, then we take off the fuel pump. Let's take those two out. Out it comes. And then you take off these two vacuum lines. Those are out of the way. We open up the housing. Now you see this mark? One, two, third dot right there stay up right there those all got to kind of line up so your timing is one two third dot because when you take this off your timing's all gonna go out of whack right when you take this belt off okay let's dig into it All right, so crack these loose. Okay, nice. So it's one, two, three, four. It looks like there's enough room down here that. I think I gotta get this off. Looks like it. I'll see. It doesn't uh, really seem too difficult of a task. You do have to buy a new head gasket, of course. I see we've been in the salt, so everything's going quite nicely anyway. Make sure I put some never-seen back on these things, in case we ever have to get in here again. Always a good idea when you're in the salt. working on it. Tap method saves breaking off bolts, let me tell you. Okay, we gotta try and get in here. Get a swivel on it or something. Swivel, take a break. Need a swivel. Find yep. It. So with a swivel, you can get in there. See? All right, so those ones, 
Those weren't very tight at all. That was nice. things I don't know not that long now I don't know if they're gonna be shorter and longer ones I don't know I gotta pay attention here probably is going to be shorter and longer ones bench to hold my tools. So awesome. All right, so far, same length. Almost doesn't fit in there, you know? straight on. Those ones. Reach in there, they're thick and they're them. A difference. See? Well, the taller one is on this side. in there. I don't know where my magnet is. Oh, 
chart. All three of these are probably long. This is giving me a good chance since I moved this to get this hose clamp back on here. It was pretty tricky to try and get that on there. Yep. Longs on the left, shorts on the right. there boys and girls disconnect the spark plug lead wires i think that's it i think it'll come off should come off I think this is attached to the block still let's give it a few bumps and see what happens move our tray here get rid of our tray so we don't knock that and lose everything take off our lead wires tab back here. There we go. She's coming. Yeah. She's coming. The tab at the bottom. Alright, she's free. Some corrosion in here. Some corrosion. Take off this hose at the front. Oh, 
guys, I found the culprit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> All right, guys. Check it out. See what we got here. Let's see what we got. Check this out. Pistons move together, eh? Isn't that wild? Look at that. Make sure we got our mark. Where the heck was it? Right there. Oh, it's a dot. Okay, so. Nastiness, check it out. Alrighty. So, what we are looking at, this is a water jacket. This fills up full of water and goes around and cools around the cylinders, right? Both sides, fills full of water cools look at that welcome to the ocean boys and girls welcome to the ocean so we're gonna spend some time and clean all this out okay so remember i couldn't get air through the top port like i said there's our top cooling port. There ain't nothing getting through there. I'm surprised this thing never overheated. I might have to run a drill through that. Oh my gosh. Chaos. Bottom one? Uh, not too bad. Still some grossness. Make sure we blow all that out. I believe there's some cooling ports in here as well. So I should probably open up that. But look at that. So, change your impeller. Hey, I'm still not cooling. This is your issue right here. Oh my gosh. But, you know, this hasn't been open since it was new. So this is build up of 20 years, you know. Since the 90s. Oh. Look at this carnage. Yeah, cannot cool like this. Okay, so we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna clean this out real good. Put some glasses on. You're gonna get salt in your bloody eyes. Okay. And then we're gonna move to the actual head. Same thing. These are your cooling ports all plugged up. Right. Look at that. We're going to clean this up too. Get all the carbon out of there. But look at that. I don't even know where the... Sometimes it should be straight through. My goodness. It's like solid. Salt lid. It's incredible. This is why you always flush your motors, guys. Same with this cooling port, this top one. Carnage, bottom one. Yeah. This side. Yeah. Plugged. All right, I'm going to work on it, clean it up, and uh, get back to you. Well, we're getting there, guys. It's pretty clean now. But just as I expected, this side port, I think I opened it. It's pretty corroded. Not much is flowing through these channels that water's supposed to flow through. They're pretty plug solid. Pretty plugged solid. So next we'll be cleaning that one out. And then I gotta get a new head gasket and a new gasket for this side water jacket.